With Scott Houston of the Northwest Guilford track team and Scott uh, victorious in the state indoor meet last Saturday. Now you're headed to North Carolina. Was the meet last Saturday? Was that at North Carolina? Yeah, that was uh, at Chapel Hill. So you're looking forward to going down and uh, being a part of that program? Yes, I am. I'm very excited about being a part of the Tar Hill program. What's the uh, most or the hardest part about deciding on which school to go to? Because it came down for you, I think, to North Carolina and maybe Virginia Tech or some school in Virginia. Those are your two choices. Um, the hardest, the hardest thing about that was just finding the right fit, and um, Virginia Tech has a great ball program, and it's a great school, and then Carolina, you know, is a big powerhouse out uh, for North Carolina, but I, I visited both of them and had a lot of fun on both of my visits, and uh, North Carolina had the best academic and athletic program for me, and I'm ready to start a, a good ball tradition out there with the coach. So this past weekend, 16 feet 6 inches in the pole one over the bar. Had you already made your mind up this past weekend where you were going? I was pretty sure during the stadium, but I was telling everyone that I wasn't going to decide till the day after, so um, I made my decision on Sunday. Yeah, I read the paper. Your coach said uh, you probably would make some of the people uh, around here happy with your decision. Um, you know, he said that. I, I don't know. I'm sure some of the coaches that he's talked to, uh, some Carolina alumni, but... I, I'm here to make myself happy, and, and my mother told me to be selfish about this time because, you know, college is a big decision, so wherever I choose to go should help me succeed in life for the rest of my life. So. Does that become a full scholarship for you to Carolina? Uh, it might. It has the possibility of. So. Does it depend on your performance uh, during the spring season? That got something uh, it, to do with it? It, it can. Uh, there's a height out there for me to make, and I'm, I'm just going to have some fun with it and, and see if I can get out there. So hopefully I can get over 17-6. 17 6 would give you the uh, national record, is that right? Uh, if I jump 17 7, it would give me the national indoor record, uh, but the outdoor record is actually 18 3 and a quarter, I do believe. Mm. So, a couple of years back, you were doing about what, 14, 15 feet? Um, last year, I was growing up at 15 11, 15 7, um, and then uh, my sophomore year, I jumped 14 8 um, and then got injured. So, yeah, it's, it's been a pretty good progression, and my coach was really helping Talk about your coach a little bit. I've read about a lot of him and name in the paper. Saw his name in several publications and heard people actually talk about taking their kids to him. He's one of the few, I guess, uh, personal trainers in the pole vault around this area or anywhere for that yeah. matter. Uh, Eric Morell, he's a he's a great guy. He actually went up to Saginaw Valley University in uh, Michigan, I do believe, and he came down here and tried to start a pole vault, uh, you know, institute, and, and he, he's been very successful with it. And I'm, I'm glad I could have run into him and. And uh, him and I come on to a friend basis, so it's, it's really good, and I, I help him uh, in every way I can because we both love helping everyone we can in pole vault and getting them to try and progress. So. Do you have any other pole vaulters on the Northwest the Guilford team, your varsity team? Because when you leave, is there going to be someone left to keep up uh, the tradition? Well, I'm, I'm working on that. You know, I've done a little bit of recruiting myself for the high school, but it's it's high school, so it's tough. you got to work with kids you got. And, and we got some potential. we got a couple of guys that are coming here that look like they can uh, start doing some good things, so we're looking out for them. Scott Houston with us going to North Carolina, the state record holder indoor pole vault. And from that standpoint, 
what does it take or what uh, comprises a good pole vaulter? What do you need? I know you've got some height. I can tell already you've got decent height. So what does it take to become a good pole vaulter? Um, the real thing is the desire. I mean, it, it, it takes, you know, height and physical ability, but the, the, the real thing about it is the desire and the love for the sport and you want to do better. Because if you want to do better, you'll do better. So. I guess you have to have a uh, pretty thick skin, too, to do it because you're going to probably run into some obstacles going up, coming down, and trying to get your timing down. And in the beginning, I bet it's pretty tough. Yeah, it, it is. Um, it's, it's a little uh, scary to, to start. You know, my mom said that when I was jumping like eight, six, nine feet, that was the scariest. And now when I know what I'm doing, she, she's, you know, filing me going 17 feet so it's 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 kind of ironic but you know just, just starting out you gotta learn the safe way to vault and then that's the main thing after that you can just work on getting higher again scott houston northwest girlfriend on the way to north carolina take us through the uh pole vault it, i guess it goes back to your your approach your run up and then you plant in the the, that, the little uh, pit area there then you go kind of take us through the whole thing um well you start out definitely, uh, the pole carry is one of the main things because, you know, once you get to the bigger poles, they can get started really getting heavy on it with the torque and everything. So you want to have a nice high pole carry, it takes the weight off the pole, and then uh, your approach should have a, a nice cadence to it. And you're starting off slow to fast because if you start out too fast, you know, the only thing you can do is slow down. And the, the key thing about the takeoff is having the most acceleration in your run at the point of the takeoff so you can get the most energy into the pole. Um, and then after that, it's um, you know trying to keep your arms up over your head, letting your chest protrude, and it actually goes into gymnastics positions. Uh, and from there, you swing your legs up to, to invert, and you try and catch as many as much as the energy that you put in the pole from the takeoff uh, to try and get all of that energy out of the pole uh, and just jump the height. Do you study some uh, aerodynamics uh, as you do this type of work? So I get to study the uh, part up in the air and trying to make sure you get over the bar at the uh, highest point of your reach up there. Well, aerodynamics isn't really the thing, but the physics of the vault and, and getting the speed into it are, are really key for um, you know getting on bigger poles and loading the poles and everything. Does but, the weight of the pole have a bearing? Uh, the weight and the height both vary. So um, I'm actually jumping on 15 foot 185 pound pole, uh, 15 6 180 pound poles, and you know I started on a I think it was like 11 110. So they, they go up in six inches and five pound increments. Um, so I actually weigh 157. That's your weight, 157? Yeah, on okay. average. So the right. pole I'm jumping on is 185, and, and what I'm driven makes it about a 190. So that's about, you know, 43 pounds over my weight. So it gives me a little bit of throw. <laughs> Well, Scott, good luck to you as you head toward North Carolina. A guy I went to high school with, he was at Western Guilford back in the earlier days, but he was a high jumper. Uh -huh. They came out of high school, he was about six foot six and a high jumper. That sounds about right. Anyway, he got up to like over seven feet and had the record in Carolina for several years. So I think you're probably making a good uh, decision, good choice in uh, the school you're going to be heading to as far as track and field goes, especially in the pole vault. Yeah, well, I'm very excited to go out there and uh, be a part of the program. Uh, Spencer Frame, the pole walk coach, and I have been talking a little bit um, after I signed. So we're excited to get things going and start a really good program out there. Scott, good luck to you. If you don't make it in the pole vault, you probably can make it in NASCAR. A name like Scott Houston, you'll probably be an automatic uh, driver if you want to be that one day. Probably got your choice in a lot of different things. <laughs> well, thank you very much. You're welcome.